We are on our way for a Liberty Day weekend road trip. We are going to Forks, Washington for a twilight inspired weekend. Are you guys super excited? Yeah. Yeah? So we stopped at Chick-fil-A to get some breakfast so we could hit the road. Uh, this is yours, Bella. Bella got the yogurt parfait with if cookie I, crumbles. If I run to a vampire, I'm just going to kick them in the wiener. You're going to kick the vampire in the wiener? <laughs> now, here's a little disclaimer for this weekend. Um, not very much, if any at all, um, Twilight films were filmed in... Forks. Although Stephanie Meyer's books take place in Forks, Washington, not a lot of filming happened there. So there's a lot of inspired twilight things that tourists flock to Forks for. We are staying in Jacob Black's house, which is a red cabin-like home that looks like Jacob's, but it's not where they actually filmed. Um, we are going to hit up the high school to get some pictures of Forks High School sign because the actual high school, uh, that was filmed in Oregon, not in Forks. Um, but there is the boundary line. Um, we're going to check that out and then we're going to, you know, visit La Push and we're going to go to Port Angeles and we're going to do a little bit of hiking. So it should be fun and exciting. Here you go. Where's my biscuit? On the way down to Forks, it's about a four and a half hour drive. So there's multiple ways to get there. You can take a ferry, it's still over four hours, or you can drive all the way around and it still equals the same amount of time. So we're going to ditch the ferries and just drive. And on the way there, we are going to listen to Stephanie Meyer's new Twilight book, Midnight Sun. Let's hit the road. which is Jacob Black's house. And um, it definitely took us more than four hours and 23 it minutes. It like six hours. Yeah, it was like six hours. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna check out the house and then we're gonna go and- um, Bring our stuff inside. See the sights and sounds of forks. Yeah, and I had to go potty really bad. Yeah, we, we have not stopped since we started driving, so. Yeah. I'm bringing you in my stuff. <laughs> this is Jacob Black's house, and please remember, there was no filming that actually took place here. This is a novelty, right? It's an inspired Airbnb. I want sleeping there. She doesn't claim anything uh, about filming. So let's just check it out, yo. Hey, so I guess in the like touristy season, whenever that is, she actually turns the house into two separate apartments. I'm sleeping here. But we get the whole house. 
this so, is Jacob's room. Oh, <gasps> Jacob's room. This is Jacob's and this is Billy Black's. <gasps> this is Jacob's room. Are you team Jacob or are you team Edward? Mm. Th that's not Jacob or Edward. <laughs> I'm, I'm sleeping in here. Okay. Oh, this is Billy Black's room. Yeah. This is where you want to sleep all by yourself? Oh my gosh, look at those woofs. I think you have to be Team Jacob. I already know my bad. Are you Team Jacob or Team Edward? I love it. I'm Team Carlisle. <laughs> He's the hot doctor, Mom. You sure you want to sleep by yourself? Yeah. Jacob's room. Because there's two beds in Jacob's room. I already know the living room. This is going to be my bedroom side. Oh, you're going to be sleeping over here? Yes, look. This is All so far away? Yes. And oh. I have my, you know. This is Sam and Emily's room. And I have my own bathroom. Bathroom. I need to pee. Can I pee? What's this? Oh. Ooh, What's the back I... porch? Oh my god, you guys. There's a swing. This could be where like Jacob totally like flies out of the house and turns into the werewolf and like goes after his wolfy friends to protect Bella. Okay. I guess you can imagine that that's where Bella and Jacob worked on motorcycles together, but not really because it wasn't filmed here. <laughs> Okay, bathroom breaks, and then we're gonna go adventure into the town. So I made a list of all the things to see while we're in Forks. So we're gonna go try to find the Forks High School. We're gonna go find the boundary line or the treaty line. We're gonna find Sully's Burgers. That's where we're gonna go for dinner. Um, and then we're gonna try to find Bella's truck and the welcome to fork sign which I think is near the Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce and now we are at Forks High School so we're gonna get some pictures with the sign the high school that was actually in the film is in Orion it's not in Forks but they did have this sign in the movie so we're gonna take some shots we're just rolling up this is uh, Forks City Hall and police station your destination is on the right. Right. Here we go. There it is. There it is. There's the police station again. We're looking for the Cullen House. It's on the same road, and we think it's right next door. This big white house beside City Hall. Yeah, that one. Oh, this is the Miller Tree Inn Bed and Breakfast, which is also the Cullen House. All right. That was the house that inspired the Cullen House. All right, so the next stop, Forks Community Hospital. This is the hospital over here where Edward took Bella after she, you know, after he saved her from the van. And then this is Dr. Cullen's parking spot here at the Forks Community Hospital. Okay, so the next place we're gonna try to find is Bella Swan's house. The house that inspired Stephanie Myers, okay? It's called K Street. What's the address? Uh, K Street. There's no, you just said 77. Oh, 775 K Street. 775 K Street. I got vampire teeth and Bigfoot socks. Oh, Bigfoot socks? Yeah. Maybe we'll see Bigfoot tomorrow on our hike. Let's walk back here. It's 
So we are behind Jacob's house. Some werewolves lurking in those woods over there. No vampires. There's no vampires here. You're breaking the treaty, yo. You better put those things back in your bag. We are on chapter nine of Midnight Sun. And today we woke up, we went to the treaty line, and um, we found out La Push for real is closed. So we cannot go to La Push. So right now we are in line to enter the Olympic National Forest. We have our pass to get in so we can hike the whole rainforest. Um, there's a trail. It's not a very long trail, but it's called the Hall of Mosses, and that's what we're going to be doing today. But just like driving through Upper Ho, like it's so spooky, the forest with all the mosses like growing down off of the trees. I'm super excited for the hike. And this is the vampire area? Yeah. Cause you know, cause Alec is our honorary not vampire. <laughs> ah, I'm a good it's vampire. It's too sunny for them to. Oh, it's too sunny. Yes. Well, well, Alec is just an honorary vampire, yeah, so he, he's just vampire. taking their spot today since it's a little sunny in some areas of the forest. with Alec is always a challenge. He never stays on the trail. There's tons of please stay on the trail signs. He's always jumping and yelling and I don't know, climbing on all the things. He just went flying in front of us. I have no idea where he went. So, although we're in this pristine environment, it's kind of always hard when you have like a six-year-old Alec with all the energy in the world, even if you like. And when you tell him not to do something, he does it anyway, just because. Just because. Oh, yeah. One. Oh, oh shoot. This is a very busy national park. As you can see, there's people behind me. So it's kind of tough with Alec running all over the place. He gets in other people's way and you're yelling and it's embarrassing, but it's a beautiful day. Yeah, 
Let's go look at it. So we have left the whole Rainforest Olympic National Park and we stopped for lunch at a little cafe and we re-entered Olympic National Park on the opposite side and now we are at Ruby Beach because the push is closed so we can't go to first beach or third beach. So Ruby Beach is the next best option and uh, I think there were some scenes from the movie that were filmed here. Wait, really? I think so. Like the beach scenes. So we're gonna go check it out. It's super foggy. It's foggy and misty. So it's not very good visibility, but it's still really cool. I'm gonna collect shells. It's not like shells. We made it to Rialto Beach, which is probably the closest that we'll get to La Push. La Push any La Push Beach. Um, Rialto Beach is beside the tribal lands, but it's still part of Olympic National Park. So we're gonna explore this beach and then we're gonna go get some dinner. So while we were finding a parking spot to go to Rialto Beach, uh, all the parking in the parking lot was taken. So people have been parking on the side of the road, as you can see. So I found like a spot and then I'm like, oh no. After I pulled in, I'm still in the street. So I tried to like back up a little bit, but it's like an incline. <laughs> this tree, I accidentally hit it and there's my light. <laughs> and then I noticed, there was some room up here, so I moved the car forward. Yeah, this didn't show up in my backup camera, but there was a little tree there, but it's okay. That should just be an easy fix. Pop that out, pop a new one on. We're good to go. We made it back to the house. We've had our dinner, We've taken our shower. So now we're just gonna relax for the night by watching the second Twilight movie. We finished the first one last night, so. 
Now we're gonna watch the second one and then we're gonna call it a night and we'll see you again tomorrow. morning we are leaving Jacob Black's house and we're gonna head into Forks and we're gonna check out Forks Outfitters supposedly <clears throat> that's the business that Mike's dad owned in the movie and we're gonna um, make up some supplies and I hear they have a bakery so maybe we'll get some baked items and some coffee and also I think it's the biggest retailer in Forks um, <laughs> there's no Starbucks, there's no Target. Target is, the, the closest Target's 99 miles away. There's no Walmart. So we're going to, you know, we're going big time. We're going to Forks Outfitters. My battery ran out. I don't know exactly when it ran out. So Forks Outfitters is one, two, three, four, I guess five stores. It's like the grocery store. A coffee spot, Forks Outfitters, Ace Hardware, and then a sporting goods store, and they all just filter into each other. I didn't film inside because it's a small community and people are in there taking care of their business. But you can buy crackers in the same aisle that you buy your designer shoes. It's that small, y'all. So we're um, hitting the road. We have a long travel day ahead of us. Once we get back home, we gotta pick up Leroy from his boarding. So we're just gonna close out the vlog now. This is officially the end of summer. So we hope everyone had a great summer in the circumstances that we're currently living in. And we love and we miss you all.